turn this into this. Before starting composition, try to imagine a scene that you want to execute. These will help you understand what kind of assets you need for a perfectly animated composition. Since I am animating a scene with Zenitsu, my best choice for selecting assets will be ground, trees, grass, and hills images. I already downloaded all the assets which are necessary for this composition and these will be available in the description for reference purposes. Remember, all these assets are from Google. First of all, add the character to the scene before adding different assets. Similarly, a camera layer is required to show the depth of the scene. Add a camera and some null layers to the composition. For different layers to interact with the camera, 3D should be turned on. For instance, make sure to turn null layers to 3D and link them to the camera layer. Similar can be said for the Zenitsu layer. Once the base is set, let's start by adding hills. Turn on 3D for this layer and set it below Zenitsu layer by changing the Z position and changing the scale of this layer so it can fit the whole screen. The next step is to mask the hills according to the need. I am using a pen tool, but you can use roto brush as well. After that, do a similar process for the ground as well, but make sure that ground is above hills by changing the Z position. After masking, change the feather and mask expansion to make a fade away illusion so both hills and ground look coordinated. You can copy the settings shown in the video, but I suggest messing with the settings for the required result. Once the base is done, enable Zenitsu layer and set the position however it fits you. Additionally, add a sky layer to the composition, and remember, this layer will be behind the hill layer. According to it set the sky layer position. Now this step is optional, I am adding clouds here, but it depends on whether it makes a scene better or not. In my case, I'm showing some possibilities regarding this scene about what can be done. Set the position of clouds as you like and add white position keyframes to make it move. I added BCC Fast Lens Blur to give it a bold look. Now, let's work on the CC. Here, I used some of my presets to give it a black and white look although it can be done in many ways like decreasing saturation to zero. Also, to give more depth to the scene, I added BCC Fast Lens Blur to layers behind the ground with the help of an adjustment layer. Since the ground was not looking good, I decided to add looks to it and make it darker with focused light in the middle. This still lacks many things like lighting. I always use S-Lens Flare instead of optical flares because it is easy to use and operate. Add an adjustment layer behind hills and add the effect. I am using available presets since it saves time. Here's an issue, flare is not visible because of black and white CC and blur effect. So, add these effects to every layer individually and remove the adjustment layer. It works. Now, duplicate the lens flare adjustment layer and place it on top of every layer. This layer will give additional lighting to the scene and make sure it places it outside of composition since we require the flare it produces. The next step is optional, I used BCC Spotlight to focus on Zenitsu. This effect can be used when a scene has a single character that needs focus. You can copy my settings or change them according to your needs.
For more forest details, I will add leaves to this scene with the help of the Trapcode plugin. To be specific, the effect I used is called Particular. Firstly, make a solid and add the Particular effect to it and click on Designer to change Particle Type to Leaves. Once done, then click on Apply. Secondly, go to Emission Extras and increase the pre-run to 100% and set the position accordingly. Thirdly, go to Particles, then increase Life to 10 to 15, Size Random to 100%, and increase Velocity to 400 to 500. The next step is optional as well. Make a solid and add element 3D to the layer. This solid layer will be behind the ground and above hills. Go to Scene Setup and import a floor fracture from readily available models and then add textures to it. I am using my presets to save time. Once done, click on OK. Now, set the position of the model and place it closer to the screen. Follow the steps or move on to the next step. For the next step, I will add a different CC at the top of the composition to give it a hype look. I used two of my CCs to make it look like night. Now time to add grass and trees to the scene. Do a similar process that we did with other assets. Let's start with trees, use the puppet tool to make pins on the trunk of the tree and press you on the keyboard. Now, remove keyframes by clicking on stopwatches. This indicates that the pins will not have any motion as only the upper part of the tree should move. Furthermore, add pins to the upper part of the tree. Once done, we will use a script called AFP Hair Rig to automate the movement. In the next part, this script is explained in detail so don't worry about how it works for now. You can change a few settings like amplitude and delay to give it a more natural look or just copy what I am doing. Once done, set the position of the tree and add BCC Fast Lens Blur to give proper depth to the scene. Now, do the same process for grass as well. Duplicate the tree layer a few times and change their position to give a forest look. Remember, you can use different tree layers with different motions. In my case, I am only explaining the basics so I duplicated this layer. This is the basics of composition but it's not over yet. Once character animation is done then the final composition will be done by making Zenitsu interact with the background. For the next part, character animation is explained in detail. <laughs> 